Welcome to The Right Angle, where we discuss all things writing related. I'm Ellie Kay. In yesterday's video, we went through the process of formatting a book with Atticus. The link in that video is in the description if you need it. Today, we'll go through setting up a custom template design for your book. Let's get started. Okay, once you've opened or launched Atticus, you'll need to either go into an existing project or upload a new one or you could click on a new book. Whatever you're going to do, you can to do a new book, you can do it right in Atticus and you can even write your book in there. I don't recommend it. I think Scrivener's much better for that, but if you want to use Atticus for it, go for it. So let's for this demonstration purposes, let's click on new book. We'll give it the title of new book. Actually, you know what? We're going to give it a different title. Painting the Sunset Sky. That's the name of the book I'm doing on Kindle Vella. So we'll just give it that title. And it doesn't go in any projects because it's not part of a series. Then I'll just do Go Get Em Atticus. And this, of course, is just an example. I don't even plan on using this. But let's go into the Formatting tab. Now in the formatting tab, you'll see you have my themes, Atticus themes, and create custom theme. When you go to create custom theme, it will save it in my themes. You can see here, I already have some themes. And if I check all these boxes, you can see what they look like. We're going to make a new one. So let's click Create Custom Theme. Now there's a couple of different options here. You can go with no image at all, a background image, or an image element. I'm partial to the image element, so we're going to go with that one for right now. But I'll show you both. So I'm going to go in here to my stock photos and look for something that might look nice. And keep in mind it has to look good in black and white. Alright, I suggest finding an image that's black and white to start with to give a good representation when you're doing a print book that's probably going to be in black and white. Unless you're doing a children's book and then you might want to do it in color. <clears throat> but the cost is usually prohibitive to do an adult book in color. So we're going to look for a good black and white image on deposit photos. So let's check out deposit photos. So we're in deposit photos and I found this photo. And I don't like all of these elements in it, but I want to keep a few of them. So I downloaded it and now I'm going to go into Photoshop and edit it to make it exactly what I'm looking for. If you don't have Photoshop, you're going to want to find an image that will work in your book without any changes. Okay, we're back in Atticus, and I've uploaded the image, but I'm going to go through the steps for that. However, if you want to know how to change your image from um, deposit photos to make it look more like this, I can make a Photoshop video showing how to do that, so let me know if you're interested. Let's hit Create Custom Theme again, and we will choose Image Element, 80%, Center, Alignment, we're going to ignore this individual chapter images because I don't want to do that. But if you wanted to, you could click that and you could do a different image for every chapter. We're not going to do that here. We're just going to leave it and choose Upload Image. And here is the image that I just made the edits for. So now that's in there. We can decide where we want this. I'm going to put it at the top. Then I'm going to change my font to something that I think will look nice. Keep in mind, make your font work with your genre, because that is important. And don't mix fonts. Like you could mix maybe Sinzel Decorative with the, the regular one, but don't go mixing a bunch of different fonts, because you will probably end up regretting that. It will not look right. 
And you can adjust size of the fonts too. So like if I want the chapter title a little bit bigger or the number a little bit bigger, I can do that. So you just have to play with it to put it the way you like it. Then you want to give your theme a name. And that's it. That's what it looks like. Now, if you wanted this to be a background image instead of a regular image, you could do that too. Let's go back to my themes. Painting. Click on these three little dots next to the title. Hit edit. And then as we discussed, we made this one an image element. But we could have made it a background image. Now you see, I think that kind of looks silly with this particular one, but maybe if it was lighter, like say we went with 20% opacity, you could probably get away with that and it look pretty nice. So that's how that's done. I'm going to stick with image element and what we have here. And then we're just going to update theme and we're all done. So now if you go back to the writing screen and you wanted to format this, you could click on formatting and choose which of these you wanted. Or one of the Atticus themes. And that's how you do it. Thanks for joining me for this lesson. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. If there's other videos you'd like to see me do, you can leave that in the comments and I'd be happy to get them uploaded. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe before you go.